On the last episode on the 541 Fisherman YouTube channel, we got the truck all loaded up with all of our fishing gear and my best friend Shane and I went on a crazy fishing adventure where we ended up sleeping in the back of the truck. We saw some crazy salmon and we went out and we went fishing with some of the best Okuma fishing gear products. We used the best bait in the entire world, Zantrum. You guys can see here, it paid off. We caught some absolutely amazing spring Chinook salmon. And on today's fishing adventure that you guys are tuned into, it's basically gonna be the same thing as the last fishing adventure that Shane and I went on. Except behind the camera, I actually have Ada with me and Shane is actually down there as well. And I think that Hayden is gonna be here tomorrow. So come over here, we'll show you guys, give him just a quick tour. We got the whole bed thing like actually refixed up and I hung up a couple of ceiling gear flags, which you guys will see. Except them, for like, you only remembered one blanket. Yeah, I only, yeah, I just really blew that one there. But basically we're gonna go walk down there, meet Shane down there, catch some springer. So see so you guys down there. All right, everybody. So before we jump into today's episode, I want to show you guys the setup that I'm actually rocking today. And right now it's currently like, get a quick time for you guys. I actually already caught a really nice spring Chinook today. It's 1130 and Ada and I have a couple plans during the day. So we're bailing out of here early. But like I said, I just want to show you guys the setup that I'm rocking in today's episode before we go fishing, even though I already went fishing. So let's start off really basic here. Roll into my truck, you dick. I did it. How'd you get your springer? All right, so for the rod I'm using today, it's an Okuma Cascade Pro 10 foot 6. What is it? 6 to 15? Yeah, 6 to 15 pound. Is it like focusing on it? Mm -hmm. 6 to 15 pound line. I am using an Okuma Kmar HD uh, 3000 size loaded with 40, or 30 pound. Power Pro, super slick line. And we're fishing extremely deep, as you guys can see. My bobber stops all the way in my reel. And now for my setup that I'm rocking, you guys are gonna be like, oh, that's really weird because you're salmon fishing. Why are you using smudge, smudge, such small gear? Well, Jebediah, it obviously works because I caught a fish, so you guys can kick rocks. Okay, so we have a bead, Corky, one eighth ounce weighted Beadmaster AF5. So it's weighted, so it automatically, it would always sit up no matter what, okay? Then I have, you know, the other bead that comes in the pack, three-way swivel, and then an eighth ounce, uh, that's a lie. This is a quarter ounce uh, Dave Stangle Free, and then I have 10 pound fluorocarbon down to a size two Gamagatsu hook. It's pretty gross, but I will say like it, when it's floating in the water, it's a lot less buoyant, so when a fish grabs it, it'll pull it under a lot easier. It's a lot easier to detect the bites and the fish I caught, you guys didn't see the bobber down, but I wasn't paying attention at all. And Shane's like, your bobber, your bobber. And I like was like, what? And I look up and it was just <laughs> bouncing. And I obviously gave her the smoke and whacked that thing. So yeah, if you guys learned anything from that, hopefully you guys will use what I just showed you to catch fish. So we're gonna go jump onto the GoPro. We're gonna show you guys what went down today. And uh, yeah. Catch you guys after that. You know, sometimes in life, Shane, it's not about the price of the rod, it's about the size of the rod. You know what I mean? I'm also fishing a lot lighter bobber now. There was a guy down here earlier with a rod in DC on an edge rod. Fuck. <laughs> Guess what Hayden's gonna have here tomorrow? Auto DC on oh. a piece of shit right there. An SSD probably. No, on one of these. Cascade Pro. Oh, even worse. I think I just got bit. I keep getting there's so many of them stacked right there. You get bobble. Oh my god. You get bobble pretty much every cast. Really? This is my first cast, so this line has just never seen water before. So you can probably see them down there. I can't. The last couple of days we've just been loaded. Right there. We have to try to go over there tomorrow. Where? Right yeah, in the middle? Flat rock. 
Springer. Get the net. I'm about to catch a summer seal in. Just kidding. All I do. There's no fish here. I didn't. What? I don't think so. Probably just something. Just babies. Or chubs. God, it, oh no, that's not good. Oh no. We're having some mental difficulties here. You know what I'm God, I want Hayden to come here tomorrow so fucking bad. Where are you even here? Nowhere. He's just not. He's not going to be able to be here. You just get bob bobbly. You got bobbly bobbled? They got triple bobbled. Triple bobbled. Because I'm just good. How do you just get him every time? Do you want video? You're good, just reel up. Do you want video, though? Yeah. Um, is that him? Is it in the face or in the butthole? Is it? I didn't see it. It wasn't in the butthole. It's in the butthole. It's going to just go back to fucking spawning grounds. That's the wrong way of the spawning grounds. Oh, well, it's going to go back to the ocean. <laughs> Like a sturgeon. It drained it pretty good though. I've only had two fish today. Uh, that was my third, second cast. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. asshole number two. Yeah, he's 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 that fat walrus. Of <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. No, he's gonna be here tomorrow morning. Huh? I know. No, he's gonna be here tomorrow. You gotta come, Bill. It's working. Do it, Bill. No. He's like the eighth wonder of the fucking world. <laughs> I want to see where it's hooked. Oh, doesn't matter where it's hooked. I don't give a fuck. Was it? Was it? I think it was. All right, everybody. So Aiden and I have made it here to the campsite. We're gonna be all cuddled up and cozy. But we did some upgrades here, as you guys can see. I actually have the steel gear flag on that side and a steel gear flag, that's my arm, on this side. So, at this point, we're gonna be uh, protected. From what? Peeping Toms? Yeah, Shane, Shane could peep on us. Shane's actually, <laughs> yeah. but Shane's here, he's actually at the bar right now, kind of cringe, because I want to get sleep. So, we'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, I guess up date two i hooked that one springer and it was foul hooked so i just let it break me off i didn't hook anything else after that so yeah we'll pick you guys back up in the morning we're gonna watch some youtube eat some i uh, actually got watermelons so we're gonna eat some watermelon we'll see you guys in the morning so stay tuned and see you guys then wake up I'm awake. Go to the river now. You can. I don't think you're allowed to sleep back here. Why? I think it's illegal. It's like too much. Springer. Good morning, everybody. As you can see, it's extremely light. What time is it? Like 6.30? Maybe? I slept in. I was supposed to wake up at like 4 in the morning, but I just didn't Hayden's down there but Hayden already left he just was like there's too many people because he just doesn't understand it's like combat fishing down there so he bailed Shane's there right now he's still sleeping in his jeep so and I'm waking up I'm gonna drive over there I might go get an energy drink I don't know what I want to do but we'll see you guys when we get the fishing spot stay tuned <laughs> Dude, this drag is not very good on this reel. Or maybe it's just user error. Yeah, it was ticking like crazy, and I was just like, it didn't register for like 30 seconds, dude. Yeah, was... If I kill this thing, I'm literally fucking going home. Now you gotta hook one for me too, because I can't fucking hook one. 
I like how it's just staying right here. You gotta stay till I get one too. No! I don't think it's in the mouth. I, I, what? Yeah, I might take it down there. I don't know where it's hooked though. It was, it was really hard to tell when it came, when they come up like that. Let's see. I've tried to just lift him. Oh, I don't know. It's close. It's really fucking hard to tell. It's all fucked. That bobber's gonna just, don't set the hook if it goes under. <laughs> Please don't. All right, I'm gonna take it down there. Going, it's going down. Oh, is it yeah. going down? Oh, okay. Looked like it was just tanking. <laughs> I'm gonna take this guy down here and land him here. Same crotch, my guy. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, What's your name again? Devin. Devin, that's me. I'm sorry. Take him right over here. Really? Get out of there. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. It's not in the mouth? No. Oh, I thought somebody said it was in the fin. Oh. I was like, oh, I wonder I'll break it off and fuck. That's kind of a toad. Wait, that mouth was open. Yeah, that's scary. But it's definitely right in the mouth. It was eating flies. Kind of a bug you there. I don't know. It's not bad. It's, a it's, a it's gonna cut perfect. Is that. it a buck? Sure. Yeah, it's kind of big. <laughs> kind of had a buck in the face. Yeah, it's, a buck. it's actually a nice fish. Yeah, that's probably the biggest one. I've, that's probably the biggest springer I've ever caught. Probably. That one I caught last year was like, on a scale, it was like 19. But I think this one's bigger than that one. I don't think it's 20, but it's pretty big. It's like they were doing the chums. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's right in the corner of the mouth. Come on, get him. Oh, oh my god, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're too fucking short, I told you. Look how deep I am, it's all the way in my fucking rod. <laughs> I just kept going deeper until I found the bottom and then please I just lifted it like... It no, no promise. Oh, oh god. I don't like when I feel the rocks because this line is just so fucking white. All right, I think it. it's a hen. This is it. Turn, 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 yeah, dude, heck yeah, that's a nice fish, should I let it go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I'll let it go for other people to have an opportunity, <laughs> I think it would die if I let it go, no, he's just kidding, you want to bonk it, I got a fish bat, oh, yeah, sure, where's it at? Over here. I've uh actually can never say I've used one of those, I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm sure you have the broken crescent wrench. Yeah, I, I literally have a crescent wrench that I just f***ing whack them with. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> Springer. Dude, what a good fish to kill on free fishing day though. Mm -hmm. Ready? Oh thank you all right everybody so why are you dancing I actually just got done fishing there was too many people because it's free fishing weekend and it was just freaking booty cheeks so you guys probably saw but i got a fish so i'm gonna show you guys how to fillet it i'm not good and this is literally the only knife i have because we just don't have a fillet knife somebody go down and send me one my link for my mail address is in the description send me a fly knife but i'm gonna show you guys how to do this i'm gonna black and white it so we don't get demonetized but we're gonna fillet this bad boy and i'm not an expert at it by any means so i'm showing you guys how i do it but this is i already know it's gonna be a hen so i have a gallon bag for the eggs and then two gallon bags for the fillets so you gotta start down here at the booty hole just you know stick your knife in the butthole <laughs> i feel like it's gonna get demonetized and then just cut up the belly and I usually kind of just grab it here and just, you know that what I mean? It really stinks. Does it? God, the meat's like thick. Oh, that's probably why I like cut its pooper. 
Ja. <laughs> so, all the way through the top. This thing is so sharp. Okay, reach in to the top of the fish here, grab the top of the eggs, pop them, like, and they come right out. Bada bing, bada boom, Springer eggs. It's a lot of eggs. I really need help. <laughs> this video is going to get demonetized for sure. I mean, it's black and white, so it might not, but and then in the bag they go. And you want to cure your eggs within 24 hours is kind of general rule of thumb. There's always two skeins of eggs. Well, at least I'd hope there's always two skeins of eggs. There might not be. And God, I got to wash off the bed of my truck somehow. The tailgate. Here, pop the other one out there. Bada bing, bada boom. Sometimes you got to just kind of Cut that back there. Ugh. Springer eggs. Okay. And now, Shane, you usually take the guts out, right, when you do it? Sometimes. I'm, I'm not going to because I'm not good. So, I'm going to turn this bad boy around here. Okay. Dude, that's kind of... It'll be really close. And then take as close as you can to this fin here. Cut through. And then go all the way through. They go cut all the way up through the ribs, all the way to the spine, okay? And this knife's really big for this, but you gotta kinda turn your knife sideways here. That definitely cut through the spine. Okay. And so then, I mean it's gonna be bony? No. And you just cut down the fish. Hold the fillet up. This knife is just not big enough, but it'll work good enough. Somebody's gonna roast me in the comments for not being good at filleting, but... This fish is just kind of toad though, so we're bringing a springer. Nope. I also, people know I hardly ever keep fish, so it's, I'm not very good at it, but I'm gonna try to keep more fish from now on. Then you go all the way down the tail. And once you get down here, pop it out. That's really bright. That looks really good. I actually did a pretty good job. I'm pretty impressed for that, actually. There's really not much left on there. I don't think I could have done much better. Somebody else obviously would have done way better than me, but I'm not very good. Now the other side, same thing. Going behind the gill. Kind of what side thing. would you say is harder? Probably this side. Because it doesn't have the other side of the fish to like help support it yeah i don't know i'm just not i'm not very good at it so <laughs> it's all hard for me somebody that actually had like a really sharp knife this would be very easy but i'm just not good and i'll admit to just being not good okay. cut on down bad boy i mean i'm actually like kind of impressed i'm really not doing that bad of a job actually for just not having the right stuff but i'm not good you know i'm doing a really good <laughs> job <laughs> Going through the bad boy fish here. Why do you have like the tail in the fillet? Okay. <laughs> bada bing. Bada boom. Okay, now. Got the couple things out there. Crab bait. <clears throat> Catch our release. Okay. Dude, look at this. Is that fat? That's what that is, right? Yeah. I cut that out. Is it fat? <laughs> we it's ate like, it. It was so good. It's like a I didn't tough eat it. something. I, don't I know. ate I it. it. I trim it out. Okay. Now, what you got to do is this is the part that I am so trash at this part. That meat's really red. That's very surprising, actually. Now, you just got to take your knife here. Go in behind the ribs. And you just kind of give her an old Chris Brown 1-2 combo, you know what I mean? This video is I'm not good at filleting fish, but I, I don't ever keep fish. So you can't get too pissed at me. At least I kept one. Okay. And you just kind of sit here and do the old, you know what I mean? Cut the rib bones out like that. And I don't like salmon belly. I almost call it tuna belly. So I just kind of go like this once I get down to the bottom. And just cut it out. What does it taste like? 
fat and gross. So I'd probably like it. Yeah. Well, that's like all fat and gross, and a lot of people eat it, but I... I probably would like it. That's what you're going to get listed in the comments for, is throwing away a fucking Springer belly. Look at that. Yeah. I can't believe you just threw away Springer belly. Yeah. Is it gross? No. It's not? Really? That's what you're going to get roasted in the comments Is it not for. gross? Not a Springer. Oh. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to... Keep this one. Y'all, yeah, I won't do that to this one. I didn't know. Dude, I'm just used to killing fall Chinook. I don't know any better. You guys act That's why like I didn't I'm cut just... mine off last weekend. And you were telling me, oh, you're not going to cut that off? I didn't want to know. You didn't tell me to not cut it off. I told him. It's only like $80 a pound for a spring. Really. Like, <laughs> you just, you just like threw pounds. away $80. <laughs> Alright, you. There's a fin. <laughs> I don't like the belly. I, I do. No, I cut the belly off this one too. I don't give a shit. <laughs> he just threw away eighty dollars. It, it's a bear is gonna have a good life. Okay. Now you just go. It's probably what that fat hair needs. Yep, like that, right down the middle. There you go. Down the middle. And now you take this, Shane also taught me this, and you poke it through, okay? Make a little incision there, you know what I mean? Like you're trying to give a vasectomy. Wait, is that how that works? Small incision? You don't, incision. don't think so. Okay, now you cut two holes in there. Now you can finger your meat. Mm. This is definitely getting demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just it up at this point. Okay, now, so since you're cool and you have cracks like me, you can go like this. It's so cold. You can walk into the water like a man or a woman, and you can rinse your salmon off like this. You're also gonna get roasted for that. Why? Is that bad? I don't think so, but there's a lot of people who are like, you can't rinse your salmon, because they're just handicapped. Okay, and now you rinse some of the slime off your hand, okay? And you take your folded in half crispy bean salmon here, and you put it in a bag. Now you take it home and you eat it. And do it with the other one as well. All right, and now what you guys do is after you have your uh, salmonella all fixed up here, I'm gonna double bag these eggs because they're gross and this is my food cooler, but you take your eggs, okay? Yep. Double bag them. You stand up your drinks in your cooler. Don't touch me. And then, now you take your Dude, look how red that is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now you take and you put your springer fillets in there. And your eggs. And you take out your drink. As you're gonna drink. Now you're done. Right? <laughs> Did I do it right, Dad? I was recording that whole time. I gotta leave that in there. All right, everybody, I just want to say thank you for watching this episode. We had an absolutely amazing time. Did you catch anything? Not today. No, not today, but Shane caught some fish before I showed up last night, obviously, and I didn't, well, I did. I don't know if it was foul hooked or not. Everyone said it was foul hooked, and that just broke me off. But also, the fish I caught today, everyone said was foul hooked, and I was like, no, I'm really in, all the way in until I can see it. And it was obviously, I wish I could get the fish back. The hook is still in its mouth. So, oh well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you would leave a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. Uh, subscribe for cool 6.7s and Jeep Cherokee things and spring Chinook fishing. We're going to come back, do another fishing adventure here soon. So stay tuned. See you guys later.